Hey guys, I'm Lincoln back here from the video guys. Today, we will be predicting who's going to win the next Super Bowl. Super Bowl 54. Now obviously, this is just my prediction. This is just what I am thinking. So keep that in mind. If you have a different prediction on who's going to win Super Bowl 54, tell me down below. I will also be making a video sometime later today talking about the scenarios on how Oakland, Tennessee, Cleveland, and Pittsburgh can make the playoffs with that 60 spot and possibly go all the way to the Super Bowl. But in this video, guys, I'm going to be going ahead and giving my thoughts and opinions. So let's go ahead now and go over to week 16. We have Baltimore playing Cleveland, and I'm going to have Baltimore winning that game. We have Oakland versus the Chargers. I'm going to have Oakland win. I'm going to say that the Bengals are going to beat the Dolphins. I believe that Pittsburgh will beat the Jets. Bills versus New England. It's going to be a tough matchup. And I, I, Bills Mafia has just been insane. And I'm not just talking about the Mafia. The fans are crazy, but they're overall have been playing amazing. Brady's been playing really bad. And overall, I don't know. I know a lot of Patriots fans are getting mad about Brady right now. It is in New England. But you know what? I think Bills Mafia is going to go ahead and get that dub right there. Alright, we have Lions versus Broncos. I'm going to go ahead and have... Mm, we have the Broncos win that matchup. I'm thinking the Texans are going to beat the Buccaneers. Even though Jameis Winston, surprisingly enough, my man has so many throwing yards, passing yards this year. He has 24 interceptions, don't get me wrong, but he's actually like leading quarterbacks in passing yards. Like, 30 touchdowns, 24 interceptions, and my man is throwing the rock. Like... My oh man's doing great. Colts win. Uh, Falcons win. I'm going to have the Saints win. The Chiefs win. And finally, we have the NFC. I think that the 49ers will beat the Rams. I think that the... It's going to be a toss-up here, but I'm going to go with the Redskins beat the Giants. And this is going to be controversial as all heck. I think the Cowboys are going to beat the Eagles. Uh, Seahawks beat the Cardinals. And finally, I'm going to have the Vikings beat the Packers. And obviously that will completely shake up the division. Week 17, we have Bengals-Browns. I think Browns win that matchup. I think that Buffalo will take care of the Jets. I think the Chiefs will beat the Chargers. Colts will beat the Jacksonville Jaguars. Patriots win. We have Ravens-Steelers. Ravens. Now the thing is, if we go back here. Baltimore, with a win, locks up the conference, okay? We lock up the... I say we. I am a Ravens fan. Just beside the point. Ravens do lock up the conference if they win this game. Meaning, New England's game doesn't matter. Okay, if we go ahead and look at this. 14-2 and two, if the Ravens go ahead... Even if the Ravens go ahead and lose this game. So you see what this game might. 13-3. and three, If, Pitt, if uh, New England wins both of these games, they're 13-3. and three. Ravens beat them head-to-head. -head. They have the tiebreaker over them. They win. So, if we go back, we put that right there. I'm going to have, in this game, the Steelers beat the Ravens. Reason why is because I think Lamar Jackson will be rested. I think Mark Ingram won't be playing. They won't be playing Marcus Peters. They won't be playing all these stars we have on our team. I think Pittsburgh will win. I mean, in all honesty, they need this more than the Ravens do if the Ravens beat the Browns. Ravens already have the conference. They're not going to be fighting for anything. It'd be stupid to play anyone against them other than RG3. Pittsburgh beats Baltimore. Tennessee versus Texans. Texans win. Raiders versus Broncos. I'm going to go ahead and have the Raiders win that game. Falcons versus Bucks. Bucks win. Redskins, Cowboys. Cowboys win. Eagles, Giants. Eagles win. Packers, Lions. I'm going to have the Packers win. Saints versus Panthers. Saints win. Bears, Vikings. Vikings win. Rams, Cardinals. Rams win. And 49ers, Seahawks. I'm going to go ahead and have... This is going to be for the division. Obviously, going ahead and looking over here, we have 12-3, 12-3. This is for the division. And also going to go ahead and be for the number one... I should sorry, no. Not for the number one seed. This is going to be for the division. It's also going to go ahead and be for the number two seed. <sighs> 
it's in the Hawks' nest. It's going to be a tough matchup. I do love the 49ers. I freaking love the 49ers. I'm not a fan of 49ers, but I think they're going to do amazing in the playoffs. I'm going to have Russell Wilson, second off MVP, go ahead and get that win. And actually, if the 49ers did win, they would be getting the number one seed in the I mean, in the conference. So it's a little bit more on the you know stake for 49ers, getting a conference like that. Uh, being number one in the conference, obviously home field advantage throughout the whole entire playoffs. But I'm going to go ahead and have the Seahawks win that game. Honestly, though, it could be a toss-up. Either team could win that. Now we have wild card. We have Texans, Bills, a team you've never seen a wild card. Patriots versus Steelers. Vikings versus Cowboys. And 49ers, Packers. First off, Bills, Texans. Bills win that game. Patriots, Steelers. Patriots win. Vikings Cowboys, oh, it's going to be a tough one. In all honesty, both the great teams, love both teams. I'm going to go with Vikings. 49ers Packers, going to go with the 49ers. Weird to see the 49ers in the sixth seed spot, especially with how good they are. But I think that's going to be a tough matchup anyway. Aaron Rodgers, one of the greatest quarterbacks. Um, Jimmy G. Great quarterback. I'm not going to say one of the greatest yet. I mean, we're going to have to wait and see on that one. I'm sure he will be one of the greatest one day. Don't get me wrong. But right now, definitely not there. Not at, that, not at the greatest of all time status. Great quarterback, though. Patriot Chiefs, Bills, Ravens, Vikings, Seahawks, 49ers, Saints. So we have a rematch between both of these teams. Going to be interesting. Um, Patriots versus Chiefs. Honestly, in my opinion, in my opinion here, Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs, second best team in the NFL. I think the Ravens are number one, and I think the Chiefs are number two. I think the Patriots have a greatest of all time quarterback. They have a great defense. They have decent, they have no vertical threat. (laughs) I'm sorry, they got no vertical threat. But they do have a very good A coach, obviously one of the best coaches of all time, Bill Belichick. They have an amazing football mind in that whole entire team. But I do think Patrick Mahomes is going to be able to go ahead and take care of that. Ravens beat Bills. Seahawks versus Vikings. I think Seahawks will win this. And in my opinion, it's probably kind of uncommon. I still believe Russell Wilson is the MVP. I love Lamar Jackson. But Russell Wilson, man, my man does everything. He literally does everything under the sun. But I have him going and beating the Vikings. Saints 49ers, that's going to be probably one of the best games. And I'm definitely going to be watching this and just eating popcorn as I do. Because you have one of the greatest quarterbacks, Drew Brees, just broke Peyton Manning's record. And obviously then you have 49ers who are just in amazing, I mean, don't Saints. Alvin Kamara, Michael Thomas, great defense. 49ers, Jimmy G playing out of his mind. Uh, I want to say good receivers. George Kittle is a god. I mean, you have that defense led by Bosa. That Richard Sherman, even Richard Sherman is playing amazing. It's going to be a tough matchup between these two teams. And it, it's hard. It, it's like literally a toss up between this because I could see the Saints winning this game and I could see the 49ers winning this game because both of them are very, very great teams. I'm going to have the Saints win though. And I love the 49ers. I said it earlier. I think the 49ers are a great team. I think the 49ers, in my opinion, is going to be probably the third best team in the NFL right behind the Chiefs. But this is the playoffs. When we get to the playoffs, We get into more about coaching, how longer, like, games get longer, games get tighter, they slow down a little bit. It's a little bit more difficult to go into certain games like this. And I think Jimmy G is amazing. I think he's going to be definitely a top five quarterback in the next couple of years. But I think Drew Brees is one of the best quarterbacks of all time. So, bam, now championship. Ravens, Chiefs, Seahawks, Saints. This is going to be an interesting matchup. Chiefs beat the Ravens earlier this season without Tyreek Hill. That's a huge thing. A lot of people, when they look at the Ravens Chiefs earlier this year, like, oh, well, the Chiefs killed the Ravens, and the Ravens came back and made it close, and they almost won at the end. They had no Tyreek Hill. 
And their rookie wide receiver was shredding the Ravens. But you got to remember, that was before Lamar got a lot better. That was also before the Ravens added Marcus Peters. A little bit of a change since the Ravens played the Chiefs. Marcus Peters, Lamar is playing better. Tyree Kill's back. Obviously, Tyree Kill is one of the best receivers in the NFL, which does help the Chiefs in a very, very great way. But Chiefs can't run the ball as effectively. Baltimore beats the Chiefs. <laughs> Seahawks, Saints. <laughs> Probably easily, again, between Lamar and Russell Wilson as MVPs this year. Could definitely be Russell Wilson versus one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. Sean Payton, great coach. You know, he did the spy gate and stuff. But still, nonetheless, I think this team, they got cheated last year. And yes, 100% cheated out of going to the Super Bowl against New England. Should have went to the Super Bowl against New England. And sorry, Patriots fans would have beaten the, uh, the Patriots. The Saints would have been Super Bowl champions last year if it wasn't for the refs cheating them. And I'm not a Saints fan. I'll, I'll say straight up, I am not a Saints fan. I don't really like the Saints, but they got cheated. Nonetheless, though, I don't think they're going to let, you know, history repeat itself twice. Unless the refs want to, which they did cheat the Saints earlier in this season with a Cam Jordan fumble for six that they called dead, even though they caught an incomplete pass on the field, ended up being fumble, return for six, bam, they didn't give him a touchdown. But anyway, Ravens versus Saints Super Bowl. Going to be an amazing Super Bowl. Drew Brees, one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. You got Michael Thomas. You got Alvin Kamara. You got that defense, Cam Jordan. I mean, you just got an amazing Saints team. Ready, led by a um, fantastic coach in Sean Payton. Versus, led by a great coach in John Harbaugh with Lamar Jackson, Mark Ingram, Hollywood Brown, Mark Andrews. Get the he- get the heck out of here, Hayden Hurst. Um, Marcus Peters. Obviously, um, I'm almost, I almost said Bowser, Tyrus Bowser. Oh my God, Brandon Williams. I mean, you just got Jimmy Smith. You got so many Earl Thomas. So many great players on the Ravens and the Saints. Ravens, I think, lead the NFL in Pro Bowlers this year with what twelve? <laughs> like, and that's another thing. Russell Wilson had one Pro Bowler, Bobby Wagner. Him and Bobby Wagner were the only pro bowlers on his team. He couldn't even throw to the other pro bowler on his team. He's on defense. But nonetheless, though, Russell Wilson, godlike man. But Saints, Ravens, who will win this matchup? I'm going to go with the Ravens. I know a lot of people will be like, ah, you say that because you're a Ravens fan. No, honestly, this reminds me of Cam Newton in 2015. No one knew how to stop him. Nobody knew how to stop Cam Newton because... Honestly, it was impossible to stop him. He rolled out of the pocket. He outran you. He outmuscled you. He supermaned you. And he died you up. The only difference between Lamar Jackson and Cam Newton is that I don't see Denver Broncos 2015's defense on here. Saints have a fantastic defense. And I think the but I think the only defense that can really corral Lamar would be Buffalo. And I don't think Buffalo is going all the way. I think they're a great team, but I just don't think uh, Josh Allen's going to take them to the Super Bowl. Nonetheless, though, the Saints have a great defense too, but I definitely think Lamar can shred them. It is in Miami. It's going to be beautiful conditions. It's going to be a great running conditions, maneuvering conditions, something Lamar is going to be able to feast on. And again, the Saints are a great team, but I just think right now it's like 2015 all over again with Cam Newton and Nobody has an answer for Lamar. At this moment in time, no one has an answer. And honestly, the only way people stop Cam was by hurting him. And I hope and pray that doesn't happen with Lamar. But at this moment, until someone figures out a way, and unless the Ravens play, unless the Saints randomly pick up Von Miller, DeMarcus Ware, (laughs) DeMarcus Ware, he actually did decent in that Super Bowl. Unless they pick up Von Miller... And he's able to seal the edge and keep Lamar in the pocket like Cam Newton was. And even, in my opinion, Lamar is a better passer than Cam. So, unless they're able to keep Lamar in the pocket and make the receivers beat them. Which, I know, honestly, I don't think the Ravens receivers could. Hollywood Brown, Willie Sneed. Don't be wrong, they're, 
they're decent. Seth Roberts are decent, but they're not. Ravens don't have an offense as meant to be a vertical passing game. It's a run first, heavy, built around Lamar. But that's the only way the Saints beat the Ravens is if they're able to go ahead and keep Lamar in the pocket, not let him scramble around. But even that is a daunting task to say the least because Lamar is so nifty and elusive. Even when you think you have the man, you don't got the man. But <laughs> thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe button. Tell me down below, guys, who is your Super Bowl prediction? Will it be Baltimore? Will it be the Saints? And if we go back here, will it be Chiefs? Will it be the Patriots, Bills, Vikings, Cowboys? Or are you going crazy and saying that the Cleveland Browns will make the playoffs, go to the Super Bowl and beat the Saints or beat an NFC team, whatever you choose? Or do you think Oakland will have the scenario, like I will be releasing a video later today, talking about will they actually go ahead and beat the Oakland Raiders, get to the playoffs, and go to the Super Bowl? Honestly, speaking-wise, Cleveland... Oakland and Tennessee winning the Super Bowl would be insane. See you guys next one. I no 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 Pittsburgh winning it. Don't third string quarterback right now. Pittsburgh would be the most insane Super Bowl win. Peace out guys.